Hello gamers and welcome back to another Skyblock video. So a couple of days ago there was a patch to farming in Hypixel Skyblock. And let's just say I do farm every now and then. Yeah, just, just a little bit. So yeah, I'm gonna go over the changes they made and the new items they've added. The first thing I want to talk about though is the new boots they've added. They're in Pumpkin Collection 11 and they're basically a better version of the farmer's boots. You craft them with these polished pumpkins and then farmer boots in the middle. And uh, yeah, I've been struggling with my farmer boots for a while because I'm way too fast with them. I can't farm comfortably with my farmer boots. I even went as far as buying a god pot just to control my speed with the cookie buff. But now I won't have to do that anymore. I can just craft the new boots and uh, yeah, I, uh, I've been farming a lot. I probably have enough pumpkins to do this, so let me just craft the polished pumpkins. I actually don't remember how many I need, so I'm just gonna craft as many as I can. Alright, that's probably enough. Oh, it's not? It is. It doesn't show up on the quick craft. Okay, whatever. They're called Rancher's Boots, and with these boots, you can control your speed cap, and if you jump on crops or anything, that won't ruin the crop. So yeah, I'm just gonna craft them, and how do these work? Do I right click? Do I shift? What? Do I right click here? I'm so confused. How do I access the... Oh, left click. Okay, I'm stupid. Oh, this is so cool. So if I write 100, and then wear them, my speed is 100. Dude, this is so useful. I'm way too fast for my own good, so these boots are really, really helpful for me. They've also changed how the turbo enchants work. If you look at Turbo Potato 5, for example, that would have normally required a gold medal to use, but now you can use it with a silver medal. So yeah, they've lowered the requirement by one tier. They also added a new tier to the personal compactor. Yep, there it is, personal compactor 7,000. So to craft this, I'm gonna need 56 enchanted redstone blocks. Let me just see how much that costs real quick. All right, it's 4 million. Let me just check my bank. Bruh, my co-op is gonna kill me, but I'm gonna buy it. Hopefully the order actually fills and I don't have to buy them instantly. But anyways, they've also made some changes. Now you can use enchanted sugarcane. Dude, this is super helpful because if you're farming for like way too long, your inventory is gonna get full. And during a contest, you need those precious seconds. You cannot waste any time. So yeah, that's super helpful. I wonder if it works with baked potatoes as well. Oh my god, it does. Dude, I have to stop like three to four times during contest just to empty out my inventory because the personal compactor couldn't craft the enchanted baked potatoes, but now it can, which is really, really useful. Actually, there is a contest in three minutes, so I'm gonna try this thing out and see if I can beat my record. Which brings me to this guy. They've also changed them, and now you can see your personal best when you hover over a uh, contest. So remember, my personal best for potatoes is 652,000 potatoes collected, so hopefully I can beat it with this new change. Oh my god, only six items in the contest is happening in like a couple of minutes. I can't waste any more time. I'm gonna have to instant buy it. Hopefully I can afford it. I can barely afford it. I'm officially broke, but it's worth it. So now it has 12 slots, which is very, very poggers, and I have a legendary talisman. Very cool. I don't know, I'll find out eventually what to put here, but for now, I'm just gonna put it in my accessory bag, put my young armor on, and remove the speed cap, because with potatoes, I don't really care. Like, 350 should be okay. The contest has just started, like, literally five seconds ago, so I'm just gonna farm, and hopefully, I can beat my record. Although I think I'm a bit laggy. I don't know, could be the server. I don't know, could be the server. Uh, what? Excuse me? Where am I? What? Um, okay. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna beat my record with the server being like this. Um... Yeah, so how's your day? I'm just, uh, I'm, uh, I'm falling into the void through blocks. That, that, yeah, very cool. Oh my god, it's so laggy. The replenished enchant is not even working properly. Bruh. 
I highly doubt I would even get gold at this rate. I mean, look at this. What? What? <laughs> Bruh. This is painful. Um. Yeah. Imagine if I die and lose my stuff. I'll be hilarious. It's like 40 million, ho, huh? just uh, going into the abyss. We did it, gamers. Y equals minus 2,000. <laughs> Where even am I? There is my island all the way up there. I can barely see the sky. Okay, there we go. I'm back into the land of the living. Um, okay. Round two? Question mark? Nah, never mind. Well, that contest was more painful than my girlfriend leaving me, but it's over, and that's the good thing, alright? And, oh my god, the gold was like 20k away. If I was lagging, I would have easily broken my record. This is cringe. By the way, did you know only 9% of the people that watch my videos are actually subscribed? Yeah, that's just stupid. I know. So help me change that and subscribe. I mean, you can always unsubscribe whenever you feel like it. Also, that's already 2% better than my last video. So thanks to everyone who's been subscribing lately. It's, it's pretty insane and enjoy the rest of the video. All right, gamers, another contest is happening. I'm a little bit late, but hopefully whatever happened yesterday doesn't happen again and I can actually break my record. So I'm just gonna farm for the next 18 minutes and I'll get back to you when I'm done. And there we go, I did beat my record by like 50k I think, I don't really remember my last record, but yeah, it did make a difference. I also managed to get gold in uh, sugarcane, finally, after so many tries. But other than that, they've also added some items over here. They added the cactus knife, which is a tool for farming cactus, I guess. And the fungi cutter. This thing has two modes, the brown mushroom and the red mushroom mode. If you're using the brown mushrooms mode, if you break a red mushroom, you're gonna get brown mushroom either way. So if you wanna grind for a specific type of mushrooms, this axe is really helpful. You also gain 30% extra drops when harvesting the type of mushroom for your mode. So yeah, this is pretty useful. They also added this, which is basically the basket of seeds, but for nether wart. Because if you didn't know, you couldn't use nether wart here. And I'm hoping they add another variant of these for sugarcane, because currently you have to place it yourself, which is cringe. They've also made a change to the cocoa chopper. It no longer replants by itself. You need to get the replenish enchant. And I'm sure a lot of people didn't like this change. Oh, I actually have half a stack of gold medals. That's pretty poggers. What am I gonna use them for? I have no clue. Actually, I think it's about time that I upgrade this thing again, so let me just get my tickets. All right, I got all my tickets, and I'm gonna start upgrading it. Can I do one more? I can. All right, now I have plus 14%, which is pretty poggers. All right, gamers, I've covered most of the important changes in this patch. I left some of them because they're not really that important. Before the video ends, I just wanna say a huge thank you to Mayamba for donating. It really means a lot, thank you so much. And yeah, thank you for watching, gamers, and I'll see you later. Peace.